show the enemy that God is number one in my life. I love my children to death. I do almost anything for them if I would. And I pray to God nobody try to harm them because I don't know what I would do, but it, it, it won't be pretty. And I'm going to do more than just pray. Amen. Somebody. I'm not that sanctified. Amen. Because number one, my first charge is to be a priest and king of my household. And the Bible said that he don't take up of his own household. It's less than it ever there. Less than an unbeliever. I'll be down low. Somebody's going to break a mouth and think you're going to rape my family, rob us, and walk out scot free. That will help. Now, I may mean, can't whoop you, but you will be handicapped to you. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Somebody. Amen, Pastor. Physical 11 is a lump of dough in a high state of fermentation or a substance that causes dough to rise in yeast. A natural reason for leaven is its negative symbol is the idea of formation implies a process of corruption. Let me put a side note on that. Now, what I just said was I'm very serious. Because that is our role as a husband. Yes. It's not just to pay bills. Amen. It's not just to buy things and buy and go out to eat and buy nice shoes and buy nice clothes. Our house is to be protectors Amen. over our homes. Now we don't walk around with the mentality of trying to starve some or want to do harm to somebody, but it's our job if somebody try to come in our house. That's our job. Mm -hmm. God's job. Is, don't you think God cares so much about it? Read the scripture. See what God did to the enemy that came up against his people. God drowned some of them. He drowned Pharaoh. That was God's enemy trying to get his people. God is crazy about you. Yes, yes. 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 Don't you not think God ain't crazy. Let somebody keep talking to you why, why they wind up sick and they don't know why they're sick. You better keep your mouth off the man and woman of God. Keep your mouth off God's people. If you don't know what's going on with them, you better pray for them. I feel when your, your feelings are going to cause you to miss a whole lot with God, I got faith. God is crazy about you. Yes, he is. Don't get it twisted. Yes, he is. God loves you. Yes, he does. And God will, God will do something to some people that try to do harm to you. Because yes. God said he protects them. He said, and there's refuge in him. Yes, listen to Psalms and Psalms 169 and Psalms 109, the impeccatory Psalms that talked about how God dealt with David's enemies and how God dealt with some of these people. God dealt, come on somebody, God killed thousands of people for the children of Israel. Yes, he is. God is crazy about you. Yes, he is. Don't you think he's just somewhere up in heaven, he just on a furlough, just sleeping up there, somewhere up in the sky, and he ain't no man upstairs. Upstairs, wow. No, ain't no man upstairs. Ain't no upstairs. No, let's call it what it is. No, you don't even like in the natural. You don't even like to refer to it as he and she. They said you know exactly who you're talking about. No, say they name. If you're gonna bring the conversation up, but here, here's Simon that think he can admit mimic something that's authentic. And you got some people got more than you, but they're not authentic. Let me say that again. You got some people have more than you financially, uh -huh. but they're not authentic. Even serving the Lord. Jesus. They can become stronger if they stop doing some of the same things you do. <laughs> and that's not to brag on any of us, because we like improve. I don't know about you, but don't you like improve? Amen. Come on, somebody, you, you bring me me. I know I ain't lost a lot of weight, but when I stand on the scale and I see two, three pounds and fell off, hey man, I don't get all, well, it's just three pounds. No, thank you Lord for three pounds falling off. Thank you. And something fell off. Amen, somebody. Amen. When God brings some improvement, I don't care if it ain't no money. If he doesn't bless you enough, that, 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 that you could, you don't have to worry about another bill. Put you in the red. You tell the Lord, thank you, Lord, I, ooh, I thank you for another hundred and fifty dollars, Lord. Right. Jesus, that took me out of the red and I'm in the yellow now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. And sometimes, sometimes we ain't care. We'll go pick up a new bill. Oh, my God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Apply for two more credit cards. Just oh, let some of them eat the other, eat all the blessings up. Now we got to go back to the Lord again and get on our knees and ask him for more money and more.
moment in a moment because we don't have things. And it's how things captivate us. And it's how things, how we view things. And one thing that had messed this brother up to the mere fact is, number one, he thought that the Holy Spirit could be purchased with power, with money. Because he, he knew the gift that he was given by the demon and by, by the power of Satan, but he saw something different. And sometimes people want just what you have, and they don't care how close they need to get to get to you to get it. They'll pretend like, you mean how some people even come to church. <laughs> if that'll convince you to give them $250, they'll come, they'll come. Or they'll mention something about prayer. And you'll be like, ooh, the Lord working in their life. Oh, really? Because it's all because they say something about prayer, that's the Lord working. God will help you discern the fakers from the for real. Thank you, Lord. Luke 6 46 says this Why call me Lord and I do the things I say? Why call me Lord and not do the things I say? So the validity of who you are is not based on what you say. It's based on what you do. Amen. The Bible says also in, in John chapter 8, 31, he said to those believing Jews, if you continue in my word, mm -hmm. then you're my disciples. This is an ongoing relationship. This ain't something that you just do just for the moment because you want something for the moment. And then as soon as your moment comes, you're, you're, you're beautiful day in the sun comes. As soon as you get the tan, then all of a sudden now you don't want God no more. Just because someone labels himself as a Christian does not make it so. Just because someone says a prayer and gets baptized does not mean that they are where they were sincere. Many Amen. people have made many false claims of Christianity for selfish reasons. Hallelujah, Jesus. Talk about selfish it. reasons. Simon is an example of this. He's a great example. And then he agreed to God to the point. And then after the fact that the, 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 the men of God confronting him about his error and his wicked ways and his wicked thinking in reference to acquiring the Holy Spirit with money, he said, you pray to God about the hell. He didn't have enough within him to repent to his own, to repent and say, Lord, oh, forgive me. Mm -hmm. Because some people are so deep rooted in Satan, they, they, it's almost hard for them to come out. That's what the Bible says in Romans chapter 1. He said, I've given it over to the rubber bait. They get to a point that their mind is so catalyzed as uh, 2 Corinthians, 1 first, first Corinthians 4 and 4 will say, their mind is catalyzed. In other words, they, they, their senses are so dull to the Holy Spirit that it, they can't even feel. They got to a point that the Holy Spirit don't, can't even get Some people don't preach that, they don't say that, but it's the Bible, it's the truth. The Bible says, I will send them a strong disillusion. And that's why some people about die as a murderer. That's why some people die as a thief. That's why some people die as a fornicator. That's why some people die as a homosexual, a lesbian, or a transvestite, or whatever they want to call themselves. That's why they die in their sin because they got so far. Mm -hmm. So far, so rooted. Mm -hmm. It ain't no hope for them. But we have to have the spirit of discernment and say, okay, I don't talk to them over now. It's time for me to talk to somebody else. I love them, but I got to let them go. See, sometimes you have love people enough just to let them go. Yeah. Let them go. I know it's hard, but we got to let them go. I know it's not easy, but we have to let them go. And when we let them go, we can see the hand of God begin to move in their life. Simon believed his belief was motivated by pure, selfish reason. Simon believed was motivated by pure, selfish reason. It was never pure about what he was doing. It was just solely self-intended motivation. And sometimes people have ulterior motives that are so locked up in them that sooner or later it'll reveal itself. Yes, All you gotta do is give it to yes, yes, See, sometimes we, we want to be fruit inspectors on you ever, had, you ever had fruit inspectors? They sit right next to them when they expect all the food in the church. Yeah. She, what he ain't doing, what she ain't doing, what they ain't doing. I got the old folks to say that. When you got one finger point, look at them other three right there. Mm -hmm. You got one in this direction, you got three in your direction. Mm -hmm. Fruit inspectors. All they want to do is assess other people's situation. And he saw this external act of useful gain to the power that he believed by Philip possessed, by following Philip, he was able to maintain his form of honor because he knew he was losing his footing. Yes, he did. He knew. So he said, look here. And I, 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 I got to make a big
big off. I can't play around this thing here. Yeah. Let's throw some money at their way. Yeah. I got some money. And that's what the enemy does. Because don't even find the first thing they're trying to do is hold your job over your head. They'll hold something that they know that has some form of uh, a resource to some degree that will help you deal with something else. And that's why sometimes some companies or some 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 atmospheres they'll put the pressure on. Well, if you don't make this decision, I mean, you you're always talking about moving up and you're always talking about advancing, but you you you, you know you just got to really get with it. Get with what? What is it you say? Oh, you really don't want to say it. You want me to just read between the lines? But here, Simon was so bold. He said, "Look here, he will tell Robert, I give him the power. I got some. I got some money, bro. Like, let, let's just, like they said, let's just cut to the chase. That's not right. <laughs> this world is full of unholy works today. People are falling out of church like leaves falling off the tree. People are falling out of church like leaves falling off the tree." Because they allow Satan to whisper so long in their ear. Well, you don't need to go every Sunday. You don't need to do it. You don't need to pray. You prayed yesterday. God knows you're on. He knows you're tired. He, he knows you're sleeping. He know he know you know you show long. You gonna get around to it. I mean you're tired. You work all week. You deserve. You deserve a little time off. You oh you deserve time off of God. I tell you what. what this, okay, when you stop breathing for a whole day then. Let God, why, why, see, we want to take time off from God, but why God can't take time off from you? We want to make all these excuses, lame excuses when it comes to God. Well, I mean, they don't have to go to church every, I mean, every, I mean, every week. But you work 10 hours on the job, but you talk about all, all day long to, to your co-worker. Get back in the text, pastor. <laughs> All the stuff that you're unhappy with. And some of a lot of it is legitimate. But at the same time, we have to be careful. But what if God decide to take off the way we decide to take off? Jesus. What if God said, okay, uh, you know what? I'm, 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 taking, I'm taking some time off. I'm taking some things off. I'm, I'm just tired of blessing you right now. I keep blessing you and blessing you, and you just keep taking the blessing everywhere you go. You keep helping people that are already done cursed, and you keep thinking that you're going to give them $20 and a $5 and a $50, and you think you're doing a noble thing. Can't you see how they're cursed this person? Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. You're taking everything out of bless you with. Yeah. And you're squandering it. Mm. You're giving it away. So we have to have discernment, even though sometimes you're not giving it. That people, we yeah. think we got it. And sometimes God will allow to touch your heart to give to somebody. But then God, sometimes God said, mm, don't give them nothing. Hey! Well, my license, Paul, well, you know, I'm going to lose my car. I don't want to tell me the whole story. <laughs> the last week I saw you on vacation on Facebook, and then I did not this week, the lights off, they should be off. Go back on the cruise and get some of your money back from the casino table, and then maybe, we, then maybe the lights will be back off. Sensible. How we live, we pay, a, we pay a very dear price. I know that from experience. I'm not just telling you something just to tell you something. I know it from experience because we can sometimes, you can have counterfeit faith and don't even know it. Because if you believe in something, then, then, then you, you, your actions will follow that what you believe. The Bible says in Colossians 2 8, he said, Beware, at least any man spoil you through what? Philosophy. Philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men and the rudiments of the world and not of Christ. People want to spoil you through philosophy. Spoil means a term of robbery. Amen. False teachers who are successful at getting people to lie rob them of the truth of salvation and blessing. They want to spoil you. Rob you of the truth. That's how the enemy works. He wants to rob you of the truths of God's world. And how do you do it? Through philosophy of men. Right. And you got to be very careful with philosophy because sometimes philosophy, they put a little truth in it and it sounds real, it sounds authentic, it sounds right, but to some degree, just because it sounds a certain way don't mean it's right. real. 